Well guys, welcome to another day at the A-Team and uh, we've come up to do something a bit different today. We're going to walk the flats on the beach, see if we can find some fish, land based, cast some lures at. But on your way up, we've spotted an extremely big thing on the beach, which happens to be an extremely fresh dead humpback whale. So. I can't say I've ever seen one this fresh before, there's blood in the water. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go up and have a bit of a look. Doesn't smell bad yet, so it's obviously only been here for a little while. So uh, yeah, a bit unfortunate, but these things do happen. We haven't had a dead one here for years, so, so it's uh, be interesting to see if you can see what's caused it. So yeah, have a bit of a poke and uh, yeah, show you guys what we find, I guess. So that is actually his skin, so he's getting sunburnt and it's peeling off kind of like leather. But it's uh, not as fresh as we thought. It's a bit blown up. Still got his tail and everything. Kind of hard to tell, there's some really big holes Look right behind his eye there. Yeah, look at that. Really big hole here. Right behind his eye. And another couple, his peck fins almost been cut off by something. That almost looks like a prop, doesn't it? See it? Mm. See, look at the marks on his peck fin. Yeah. Yeah, the old sharks have taken a bit off. Yeah, he has been here for a little while. Good fella. Poor fella. I thought we might see... Oh, there's, is that a big shark out there? See the black shadow or is that cocky rock? And, uh, wouldn't be surprised. The tide's coming in at the moment. So I dare say with the amount of blood in this little first gutter, we'll see some shark activity later on. So yeah, a bit unfortunate. All part of nature. Can't really see how it's happened. Definitely some solid chunks out of him, but hard to tell. The sharks have definitely got his tail though, look at that. Oh yeah, dingo tracks. Yep. That look pretty fresh actually, don't they? Whether he was game enough to have a munch or not, some other thing. So yeah, a bit sad, but 
it's all part of nature. So we'll uh, continue on our merry way. And, yeah. Interesting. Something a bit different to start the day off anyway. Okay, it. so we've just left this left this whale and we almost clipped this shark and there's two of them now There's two monster tigers on the surface fins out of water and everything One's coming up to the front of the boat. They're big too. So Ben's gonna get some footage. I'll throw the drone up This is gonna be cool Both of them are in front of us That is cool. Oh, look at the stripes on this one. Here it comes. Oh. Chuck it, sir. I was going to put it in the water. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at this, guys. He's not real big, he's probably like 10, 11 foot. <laughs> oh, <that's sick. laughs> oh, is that real big one? This one's heaps bigger out here. Come right up, right on the surface. Turn it around. Coming back. Oh. Oh. Here's the other one. Here's the other one. <laughs> you Number big two. girl. Hey? You big girl. Oh, here's the other one on your side, Benner. Just here. Yeah, he came around, yeah. yeah. This big one's just here, so I mean, yeah. Yep. That's a really good angle to get him on, too, because the water gets oh. more clean. Are you getting it? Yeah. Holy crap, man. Yeah. There's getting another out. one out the back yeah. there. Get this guy. He's got a white Look at the remora on him. That's a big Oh, uh, well, the boys are set up. Yep. We uh, have a lovely beach to walk this afternoon. So we got about four to five hours of trekking around, a couple of cold beverages, little saddlebag full of lures, and uh, throw the light gear around the flats. See if we can't find a fish or three. Um, so yeah, something a bit different anyway. I haven't done this up here before, so fingers crossed we can get a fish for you. If not, I'll have a merry old walk anyway, so <laughs> see you when we're hooked up. <laughs> He's a bit soft. Seeing a few. I think we're just That's heavy. about it. <laughs> Call me fat. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> A bit far from the water, mate. <laughs> Just sitting there, he's still kicking. He is too. I wonder if a bird's got him and dropped him. Poor little fella. <laughs> Hi, later, mate. You're welcome. There you go, bit of good karma. Just saved a life. True, that's uh, dingoes. I wonder whether it was buried. And some extremely large vertebrae bones here. Yeah, look at the size of them. They're huge, man. That's got to be either a marlin or a Another couple of bones there, or a dolphin, something big. Dingoes have been there. 
All sorts of stuff on the beach today. Well, I think they found the rest of that vertebrae of whatever this thing is. We can kind of have a look. Looking at the meat on that, I'd say 100% dolphin, if not a super baby whale. And it's pretty fresh too, but you can tell by the marks on it, the sharks have been right into this. The cuts. Very odd, two, uh, two large dead mammals in one day. Not good. Hopefully this one was natural causes. What do you got, Brad? A uh, bottom fish, I think. <laughs> not, a, not a desirable fish, put it that way. On the tail as well. Himself, then you say yeah. that the barb went into himself. Yeah. Well, calling it quits for the day, kicking back yeah. with a beer, <laughs> watch the sunset, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that'll do us. Big walk for not much. We saw so much cool shit, we found so much cool shit. But uh, just not a, a day for fish, but that's all right. Because when you're in a spot like this, it doesn't really matter. So that's us, cold beverage on the way. Thank you, my man. And uh, we're going to enjoy this sunset and call it a day. 
see you on the next one well i hope you enjoyed that one legends as uh something a little bit different not the norm but um nonetheless it was a pretty cool little experience um currently packing down the big rig with the puppies after a long trip and um i've had a lot of guys and girls uh send the channel some queries about what i use to edit how i go about my youtube channel i guess and how i started up so now's as good a time as any to thank this week's sponsor as the car goes past really loud da 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 skillshare so if you guys want to know how to get on board with this type of stuff yourself there's going to be a little link below that gives you not only the usual 14 day free trial but a whole month Free, nada, zip, no lock-in, contract, no nothing. If you want to learn how to start off kickstart YouTube or any sort of social media and it's not only restricted to just vlogging, there's um, animation, music, uh, all sorts of different classes on there, I strongly suggest use this little link below because it will help you kickstart in ways that I wish I did when I first started. Now, anyone who doesn't know what Skillshare is already, it's an online learning community with thousands of courses by thousands of creative people out there. Everyone throwing their ideas together to help the broader community and actually create some interest in getting people's creative sides motivated and motivate you guys to do your own thing get it out there for everyone else to watch and who knows you might make it big if you don't at least you're doing something you like and i'm sure people will definitely appreciate it so what i'm gonna do this week is not actually do a course i'm doing but i'm gonna suggest one that i wish i had done had I been given this opportunity when I was first starting off. So you'll probably see on the screen right now, I'll quickly run through the course. So this is kind of a beginner's guide to uh, getting started in the editing slash cinematography, photographic, like the whole concept of everything you kind of need to have a broad overview of to start your own YouTube channel. Um, you don't have to do it, but if I had my time again, I would definitely jump on board and do something like this before I started because it would help me no end and it would have saved me a lot of long nights uh, Googling and watching YouTube about how everyone else did it and all the trials and errors and buggered up videos and all that sort of stuff that happened along the way. It is a learning curve. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. Do it at your own pace. But... Little things like this really do help you along the way. And um, yeah, I kind of wish I had the opportunity myself when I, uh, when I jumped on board. So the link will be in the description down below to that, as well as the link to the class I just showed you through, which I think would be a really good starting point for anyone who's been sending me some queries. Um, and then from there, you'll kind of get a grasp on what's happening and then uh, kind of kickstart your creative journey from there so um yeah don't forget guys no strings attached jump on board a whole month so it gives you ample time to kind of browse through uh and it'll suggest related classes and everything like that once you're signed in so there's heaps of stuff in there you can kind of i don't know dip your toes in and see if something really tickles your fancy that you mightn't have even thought of before so yeah Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers Skillshare.